From Hollywood, your radio theater. From Hollywood, California, for all of you men and women in the armed forces of the United Nations, Special Service presents your radio theater. And here is the director, Mr. Cecil B. DeMille. We present the first act of Tom, Dick, and Harry, starring Ginger Rogers as Janie, with George Murphy as Tom, Alan Marshall as Dick, and Burgess Meredith as Harry. We're in the Strand Movie Theater, where the second feature of the evening is just drawing to a close. The hero and the heroine stand gazing deeply into each other's eyes. Come away with me, darling. I love you. No, John, no. You mustn't say that. Now the hero draws the heroine close to him. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. Now the hero draws the heroine close to him and takes a long pause. Over there in the second seat off the aisle is Janie. And that's her boyfriend, Tom, the fellow trying to hold her hand. Janie is young and very pretty. Doesn't even know he's there. She's completely carried away by the hero's next line. But you don't understand. I want you to marry me. Marry you? But, John, we live in two different worlds. You have money, position, everything. There's too great a gulf between us. Janie is scared now. Will the hero take her up on it? But no, he's only taking another pause. Darling, our love will build a bridge to cross that gulf. Oh, darling, I'm so, so happy. And so is Janie. The end. What's the matter, Janie? You weren't even eating your soda. Hey, Janie. Hmm? What are you thinking about? The picture. Wasn't it swell? Janie, do you think the movie was true to life? I mean, do you think a rich guy like that would marry a poor girl like that? Well, of course he would. He loved her, didn't he? Yeah. Well? Well, what? Well, of course. He loved her. Oh. Hey, Janie, how about if you and I drive out to Inspiration Point for a while, huh? <laughs> not tonight, Tom. Why not? No, I just want to talk to you. That's what you always say. No, honest, this time I really mean it. Just talk. Come on, huh? Well, okay. But remember what you said. Kind of crowded out here, ain't it? A lot of cars tonight. No. Janie, I uh, I suppose tonight has seemed to you just like most any other night we've had a date together. Hmm. Well, it hasn't been. Oh, I may have been acting the same, but something happened today that changes everything. Hmm. Janie, listen. Hello, how are you? I'm glad to see you. And what does everyone want tonight? Ice cream? Now, I got chocolate, vanilla, toffee, strawberry, bird diamond, Neapolitan, peach coffee, and all kinds of peppermint sticks. You left one out, mister. I don't think so, lady. Yes, you did. Let me see. Chocolate, vanilla, bird diamond, peach All right, all butter. right. Break it up, break it up, will you, brother? We came out here to be alone. We want to talk a little bit privately. There's people concentrating here, but you're disturbing them. I'm surprised at you. Ice cream, get your ice cream. Do me a favor and pick the flavor. I got all kinds. Janie. He left out the statue. Oh, Janie, listen to me, will you? Oh, yes, where are you? Oh, something happened yesterday. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Well, what do you think it was? I don't know. I closed the R.J. Hamilton deal. Tom, you did. Yes, I did. 30 special sedans. Tom, that's wonderful. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's nothing. What do you think else? Huh? I got promoted. Again? Yep. Right after I closed the deal, Mr. Burton called me in his private office and says, Tom, my boy, Burton Motors is proud to have you here with us, and we want you to know about it. And here it comes. Hang on. What? Get ready. What? He says, from now on, you are the assistant sales manager. Assistant sales manager? Yeah. <laughs> so, well, Janie, I was thinking yeah. you and I have been friends for a long time now. Huh? Well... Janie, you don't belong in a telephone company getting up every morning and plugging in calls for people all day. You deserve something better, and I'm going to get it for you. Huh? Well, well what do you say? <laughs> well, what do you want me to say? Oh, Janie, now don't make out like you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm asking you to marry me. Oh, Tom! No. No? Yeah, no. I don't mean no exactly. I mean, well, no for now. I think maybe we'd better think about it a little bit. Hello. Lady, you were right. I left out pistachio. You Are you in again? Will you get out please, of here? Please, What's the matter with your friend, lady? He's always yelling. 
You don't have to yell at me just because I'm a little obnoxious. A guy comes out to try and get a little privacy. Oh, in now the stop. All right. Come on. Let's get out of here. Isn't there any place in the world where a fella can get a little privacy? Turn on the ignition. Turn on the ignition. Well, good night, Tom. Good night. You mad at me? Oh, not exactly mad. I just don't understand what you mean. You gotta think about oh, it. Oh, that's a pretty important step. I'm not sure yet. You want to marry a rich guy, is that it? If I love them. But, Janie, I tell you, I'm going to be rich in another two oh, years. Oh, Tom, it isn't that. You probably will be rich. And maybe if you weren't, I'd marry anyway. Well, then what's the trouble? Nothing. I just want to think about it. Why? What good is it going to do to think about it? <sighs> oh, please say yes, Janie, please. You don't know what it means to me. I'll work my head off for you. I need you, Janie. I love you. I'd do anything. You do? I do what? Love me. Well, sure. Didn't I ever tell you? Uh-uh. Well, sure. I love you more than anything. Why, every time I think about you... You, you melt inside like a candy bar? Yeah. <gasps> oh, Janie, you gotta say yes. You gotta. I'll, uh, I'll commit suicide if you don't. How? How? How do I know how? Say, what are you trying to do? Drive me nuts? I'm not asking for a dance. I'm asking you to marry me. Well, gee, if you're gonna put it like that... Well, all right. You, you mean you will? Yes. Yeah. Oh, boy. Ow. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am sorry. Oh, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to do that. It's just a... Oh, Janie. It's all right. Oh, Janie, you may be the happiest girl in the world. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I hope you are because I am. Well, I'm all mixed up. I don't know what I mean, but you'll never regret this, Janie, never. You know what I'll do? What? I'll sell a million cards for you. Hear me? Oh, a million cards. I bet you will, Tom. Hey, it's getting late. I better get yeah. home. Hey, I gotta get up early, you know. But, Tom... Uh, will I see you Friday? Well, of course. <laughs> oh, Janie, if I could only tell you, if I could only... Yes, Janie. Tom. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> good night, Janie. Oh, good See night. you Friday. Eight o'clock sharp. Good night. Hello, dear. Hello, Mom. Did you have a good time, dear? Well, hello, Pop. Hello, Janie. Have a good time? Well, guess I go to bed. What'd you see? Hey. Janie, your sister's talking to you. <laughs> oh, what did you say, Butch? What picture did you see? Oh, the one at the strand. Any good? Swell. Say, you folks want to hear some news? Tom proposed to me. No kidding. Tom proposed. What's more, I accepted him. Oh, Jenny, that's wonderful. What's more, I may even marry him. Good night. She gets more and more adolescent every day. Oh, um, that feels good, doesn't it, Janie? It sure does, Janie. Well, I'm not tired. I won't sleep a wink. Good night, Janie. Go to sleep, Janie. I can't go to sleep. Pleasant dreams. But I'm wide awake. See? We are gathered here in the presence of these witnesses. Gather around, witnesses. Oh, he's not here. Of course he is. That's just a dream. Who's dream? What dream? There's the justice. Howdy, Janie. And there's Tom. Hello, Janie. This is our wedding day, Janie. Hold on, folks. You, Janie, take this man to love, honor, and live happily ever after. No fair getting a divorce. I do. You, Tom, take this woman to love, honor, and sell a million cars as long as you both shall live. I do. I now pronounce you a lovely couple. Boy. Ow. Oh, I didn't mean that. Here, here. No fair punching the bride. <laughs> Say, wait. Where's the vine-covered cottage? You can't be happy without a vine-covered cottage. Bring on the vine-covered cottage. There it is. But no child. What's a home without a child? Bring on a one-year-old toddler. Wow! Junior, now stop. Oh, here comes Daddy, home from work. Janie, Janie, what do you think? I was promoted. I'm Junior, Junior, executive, executive, sales manager, vice president. I gotta sell a million of them. I gotta sell a million of them. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye, dear. Yay! Ha! Ah, another year has passed. Bring on another listen. Wow!
call you back. Oh, Jeannie, come on, tell me. You're not fair. If I had a secret to tell you, can't you wait a couple of minutes till we're off duty? Oh, I bet it isn't anything important at all. You're just trying to keep... When you hear the tone, the time will be 4.58. You're just trying to keep me on pins and needles. Maybe the way you hear this. This is long distance. I'd like to make a first first call to New York, please. Your call, please. Columbus 50098. Columbus 50098. I want to speak to Miss Brenda Whitney, Jr. Miss Brenda Whitney, Jr. Your name and number, please. Richard Hamilton, Jr. 496. Mr. Richard Hamilton. Jr. Oh. Oh, will you hold the line, Mr. Hamilton, or shall I call you? Uh, hold on. Um, New York. Columbus 50098. Gertrude, Gertrude, it's Archie Hamilton's son. No kidding. Yeah. wonder what he looks like. Did you ever see him? No, but I saw his car yesterday. You saw his car? Yeah, and you should have seen it about a mile long. Miss Brenda Whitney, Jr.? Middleton calling. Go ahead, please. Gee, it was swell. I wonder what he's saying to her. Well, why didn't you listen, you dope? No, I don't think I'd better. Anyway, I'm engaged to Tom now. You're engaged? Mm. Is that the secret? Uh-huh. Well, about it. What did he say? Oh, no, he just asked me to marry him. Well, well, where were you? Did he kiss you? If you'd have been me, would you have said yes? Are you crazy? Hey, what's the matter with you? You talk like you aren't even happy about it. Well, of course I'm happy. What do you want me to do? Float? Oh, five o'clock. Let's ring. I don't understand you, Janie. After all, it isn't as though Tom wasn't handsome or something. And he's certainly got plenty of personality. Is there anything wrong with him? Oh, I don't know. I think maybe he gets promoted too much. Well, now I know you're crazy. Look, Gertie, look at that star up there. Starlight, star but first stars in the night. I wish you may, I wish I might. Have a special wish tonight. What did you wish? You're not supposed to tell. Oh, go on. What did you wish? Mm, I wish I could meet a certain fellow. The one who just called New York, huh? Mm -hmm. R.J. Hamilton, huh? The one with the fancy uh -huh. car? Yeah, but... What fancy just... Hey, 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 look, look, there it is. There it is. Oh, that's right. What's that? Oh, Jenny said I know that car any place it is, I tell you. And that must be Mr. Hamilton. <laughs> Hello? Hello there. I uh, live down that way, just the way you're going. All right. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'd love a ride home. <laughs> Look, I didn't... I, thank I... you. Goodbye, Jenny. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Goodbye, Jenny. It's all I thought by the time I wish I may wish my head wish I wish. Hello? 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 Comfortable? Oh, yes, I'm fine. You know, you must think I'm somebody else. No, I don't. Why, we met before? Well, sort of. What? I, I suppose you think I'm awful forward, but it's all on account of the star. Account of what? You know, starlight, starlight, you know. Starlight, star? Yeah. Oh. I live on Night Street's next corner. Oh, that's to the right? No, to the right. <laughs> it's a nice car. Well, the trouble with cars like this is it's hard to get parked. Oh, I guess. Sure. Mm. My house is the third house. All right. Mm hmm. I guess you think I'm awful. We'll probably never see each other again. You never will understand. Going tonight. Oh, well, I didn't mean it. No, I, I know, I know you didn't mean I'm just impulsive. Eight o'clock, all right? Oh, well, golly. <laughs> Violet. Two bunches, though. Oh, this is my younger sister, Barbara. You mean Butch here? Yeah. We're old pals already. Aren't we, Butch? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, shall we go? Don't come home too early. He's cute, isn't <laughs> Goodbye, Butch. So long. Oh. Well, uh, where's your car? Why, do you mind walking? Oh, I'd love to. Good, I like to walk. Oh, I guess if you don't have to, you want to, huh? Oh, I don't know. Even <laughs> if you don't want to, you may have to. You might as well want to. Hey, that's a nice dress. Oh, I'm glad you like it. My mother made it. Really? Yeah, it's her hobby, you see. You know, I'm sort of sorry it's so nice in a way. Why? Well, you see, you went to all this trouble, you and your mother, about yeah. the dress and all that, and, and to tell you the truth, I, I ran a little short this week. I only got a dollar eighty cents on. <laughs> <laughs> hey. What? What am I laughing at? <laughs> well, weren't you driving down Main Street in that big car? Sure. Well, but that what, was one Did you that? think that that was mine? <laughs> Wasn't it? No. I, I was just delivering it. I'm a mechanic down at Slater's Garage. A mechanic? Yeah, we pick up and deliver. Hey, what'd you do that for? That's for trying to pick me up. Wait a minute. I'm going home. No, wait a minute. I didn't pick you up. Is it my fault? That... So, what's your name? Janie. Well, mine's Harry. How do you do? How do you do? Listen, Janie, I, I'm really sorry about this. That's, that's all I can say now, you know. Why don't we go out anyway? 
I'll tell you what, I'll show you the best time you ever had in your life on a dollar eighty cents. Wow. How about it? Wow. You like movies? Sometimes. Come on. <laughs> How'd you like it? Well, it's not as good as the one at the Strand. The Strand? Oh, I saw that. That was awful. See, I bet you that that's where you got that idea. What idea? This idea that a girl can marry a millionaire. Hiya, Harry. Hiya, Roy. How's the boy? Oh, why can't a girl marry a millionaire? Well, there's not enough millionaires. How many millionaires do you think there are? Oh, about a million millionaires. There are 9,653, and most of them are already married. Well, if they're married, maybe they've got sons. No, the rich have a very low birth rate. But they do have sons. Little teeny ones. Little teeny ones. Come on, I'll buy you a hamburger. Two hamburgers. But, Dolly, well, you can't explain everything by numbers. No, I didn't. You make it sound like a horse race. Well, that's what it is. got to figure the odds, you see? Well, sure, the odds against any two people meeting. After all, there's something like two billion people in the world, and if a girl meets any fella, it's an accident, isn't it? Yeah, but that well, is... Well, there's no reason why the accident can't be a rich fella instead of a poor fella. You got a point there, brother. She's got a point. She's got nothing. Now, look, I'll tell you why. Now, the reason that the accident can't be a rich fella, see, is that the rich don't move in your circle. Well, why can't I move in their circle? Why can't she move in their circle? Yeah. Look, do you know the Hamiltons? Yeah. Sure. Now, suppose they give a party. Do they invite you? No. No. Do they invite the, the hamburger man? No. No. Do they invite that girl over there? Hiya, Harry. Hiya, Mark. Hiya. You? You're darn right they don't. They invite people from their own circle. And if they run out of them in this town, they import them from other towns. Right? Right. 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 Come on. I'll take you bowling. So you see, honest, you never get a chance to move in that circle. You get, well, wait, one chance in a minute. Yeah, but you... Here, do you want to bowl? I don't know how. I'll show you how to bowl. How are you, Joe? What do you know? I never heard such reasoning in all my life. You can hold on to that ball. It just doesn't make sense. No, you put your two fingers right in there. You see your thumb there. That's it. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, I forgot. Every day you read about girls marrying rich fellas. Every day. Yeah, now you hold it. I think you better take your shoes off. It's all a book, and it's all a magazine, and it's all a newspaper. You got the wrong clothes for bowling. I got the right clothes. I got the wrong fella. (laughs) Just as natural for a girl to want to make a good marriage as this for a fella to want to get ahead. This is all I would say to you now. Don't be ambitious. Don't try to be somebody. Don't try to be a success. I don't. What? Swing it. You don't believe it? Success. I don't believe in it. Swing the ball. Well, I'm swinging it. Go ahead. One, two, three. to let go of the ball. You honestly don't believe in success? Nope. But why? Well, I don't believe in it, that's all. I don't believe in fighting and scratching and climbing over But you want to have money and you want to muck or something, don't you? Yes, I do, but I'm not going to kick people around to get it. That's all. I like people. Oh, so do I. Some of my best friends are people. Sure, that's it. And if ambition, see, if ambition means lying and conniving and, 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 and cutting people's throats, then it's not worth it. Oh, here's your place. Isn't it? Yeah. Well, what is the answer, then? Being satisfied with what you have? No, I don't. I don't know what... Well, I suppose the answer is to get ahead, all right, but without slugging everybody all the time. I don't believe in this every man for himself because I get along yeah. with them. You know what I think? What? I think you're wrong. You do? And you see... I've been going with a fellow named Tom. Yeah. Works for Burton Motor Sales Cars. He's ambitious, and he's trying to get ahead, but he doesn't go around slugging. No, I No, didn't. he doesn't. And he's a very nice fellow, and he's going to get someplace, too. I don't. Well, he is. And it just so happens that I'm even thinking of maybe marrying him, Stephen. What? Hmm. Uh, maybe you may better marry me instead. Oh, no. Well, you shouldn't say things like that. Why not? Why, I, I hardly know you. Listen. Sometimes people know each other better in one night than they do in two weeks. They do? Sure. How about it, Janie? Huh? Look, I've been looking for the right girl for a long time, and Janie, you're wonderful. I am. You better, and if you say yes, I yes. promise you, you'll never be sorry because I'll, I'll take you fishing every day. Oh, I, I think we ought to know each other better before we discuss this. I tell you that further. I do know you, and I think maybe I'm in love with you. You are. I think so. When will you know? Shouldn't be long. Now. Listen, I better go away, and I, I know. Yes, now. Well, all right. But after that, I better go in. Yes. Huh? What do you mean? Yeah. What do you mean? What's like bells? Like, like bells? Yes. Yeah. Huh? I suppose that was a church. No, line. there's no church line. No. I wonder what it is. Well, I don't know. 
hear it before? Yes. Well, then how do you know what it means? It's obvious. Oh, it's obvious. You know what I think? I think maybe you better just make it. <laughs> well, what do you know? Oh, Jane. Will you marry me, Jane? Oh, no. no. Why not? Why is it? Is it this fella, Tom? All right. You don't love Tom. I don't know why. Oh, you, you don't, don't love him. You don't ring bells mm, with it. No, but I didn't. Say yes, Janie, please. Well, you really... Want to consider yourself engaged to me? I guess you can. Oh, Jane, Jane. Oh, wow. Well, I see you maybe tomorrow night. Yeah, no. Why? Well, I got a date this with Tom. With Tom? Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't be, you know, very. All right, all right. I know. Like that, I'll call you. Know. Call me. Good night, darling. Good night, Harry. Good night, darling. Good night, darling. Good night, darling. Curtain falls on Act One of tonight's radio theater. It's intermission time now, and before we hear Act Two, let's listen to the sensational trumpet of Harry James. Ginger Rogers as Janie, with George Murphy as Tom, Alan Marshall as Dick, and Burgess Meredith as Harry. And goes to Tom, and goes to Harry, and goes to Tom, and goes to Harry, and goes to Tom. All night long, that great problem revolves in Janie's pretty head. Tossing and turning in her bed, she dreams now of marriage with her brand new fiancé. Here comes the bride, and here comes the bridegroom, and here comes the justice dancing down the aisle. No, Janie, because that leaves girls like you, the fellas like him. Do you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. And you? Hiya, Harry. Hiya, Judge. I now pronounce you man and wife, and Janie, I think you're making a big mistake. Bring on the trouble down steady. Yes, he wears a fine covered cottage. One year later, bring on that kid that looks like Harry. Harry, Junior, stop crying. Harry, Harry, Junior, I'm calling you. Well, just a minute, dear. I'm playing Jack. Harry, stop us. I can't stop now. I'm on my feet. But aren't you going to work, Harry? Work, work. I don't believe in it. Hiya, Pop. Hiya, Harry. Two years later, another bundle of joy. Wow, Harry. So the best day. Janie, Janie, what do you think? I'm on Kenzie. Hey, Pop. Another year goes by. What do you say? <laughs> Janie, Janie, I got great news for you. I'll never have to go to work again. We can go fishing every day. Why? What happened? I just lost the job. Yippee! Yippee! There it is, Janie. Love in the center. 
What do you think? I know now. I know now. Hello, Burton Motors. Oh, yes, Mr. Burton. This is Tom. What's that? Yes, Mr. Burton, I'm keeping the showroom open this evening. Yes, sir, I've got that little sedan right up in the front window. I thought that... Oh, uh, Mr. Burton, a prospect just walked in. Yes, sir. Yes, I'll call you later. Well, well, good evening, good evening. Hello. And uh, what can I do for you this evening? Mm-hmm. Did you drop in to look over the new models? Yeah, that's pretty neat. Pretty right? nice yeah. little job, isn't she? Best little car in the market. It's all right. Is your name Tom? Yes, it is. That's what I thought. Uh, did uh, someone refer you to me? Hmm? No, I heard about it. Oh, I, I see. You heard, and you yeah. just dropped in to look us over, huh? Look you over, yeah. Well, that's very nice of <laughs> you. Very nice indeed. I, uh, I don't believe I caught the name. I don't believe I threw it. Didn't show it, huh? <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, my name's Harry. Harry. Well, Harry, was there anything particular you had in mind? Me? Mm, no. I well, didn't. now, there's a little car over there. The finest yeah. thing on the market. And the most amazing thing about her is the price. Only $598. 598 is that delivered? Well, no, that's not delivered. That's uh, FOB Detroit. FOB, yeah. Uh, yes, that would run you, let's see, uh, 732 delivered. 732. Well, let's very nice bumper there. Oh, do you like that? Mm-hmm. Well, I can arrange to have a set of those put on a car for you for just a few pennies extra. How many pennies would you say? Well, uh, uh, let me see. It's at a model like this, completely equipped. I get it for your wholesale, of course. Yeah. It run uh, $886. $886? You mean that's the whole thing? That huh? is the whole thing, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Of course, that doesn't include the sales tax and your license plate. No, no, no. Look, how much does the whole thing cost, you know, altogether? The grand total? The grand total? Grand total. Well, now, wait, I'll figure it for you. No there fudging. Is my no fudging. The whole thing, everything in, fully equipped in your garage, and you'll be proud of her. $1,107. $1,107. That's right. It's amazing. Well, after all, it's not what you pay, it's what you get. I'll tell you what. Why don't you let me give you a little demonstration? Right now? Why, sure, why not? Friday night, a great night to relax. Look, you got a date. I mean, you, I mean, haven't you got something you'd like to do? Oh, I know. There's nothing that I'd like to do that's more important than making you a member of our little happy customers club. Say, you a married man? Not exactly. No. Well, uh, <clears throat> I bet you got a girlfriend, haven't you? Yeah. That's it? <laughs> why don't we show the car to her? Well, we'll drive out there, pick her up, and I'll take you both for a ride. Both of us? Why not? No, I don't think so. Oh, I, I don't... Hold on, wait a minute. Hold no, on, no, no. After all, she's no. the one you want to please, right? No, yeah, but I... Well, it's a perfect night for a ride. You and the girlfriend climb a little old backseat no. there and just relax. I'll take you any place no. you want to go. This is not a good idea. Oh, now, hold on. Hold on. Wait just a second. Tell I'll make you. a little phone call here and cancel a little appointment. But don't do it, will you, please? No, I don't want to inconvenience oh, Please, you. please. No inconvenience at all. It's all settled. We're all going for a ride together, Okay. Okay. And, uh, listen, when we get there, I want you and the girlfriend to climb right in that little back seat and, you know, just forget that I'm here, you know what I mean? Forget that you're there. <laughs> all right, she lives right along here someplace. Yeah. Notice the way she takes the bump? Mm-hmm. Hardly any vibration at all. Smooth as a kitten. Smooth. Here it is. Where? Right here, third house. The third house? Say, listen. Just a minute. Be right out. Hey, wait a minute. Are you sure this is the right place? Sure I am. It is. Hello, Janie. Hello, what's this? Nice car. This gentleman's going to give us a demonstration. Beautiful. It's... Oh. What's the matter? Oh, that's, that's Tom. Yes, I know it's Tom. He's looking for the light up and going steady, you know. He talked his way into it. He's very forceful. Come on. Fine thing. I turn my head and you're out with another guy. Standing me up so you can show for people around fine things. Get in, Janie. Say, Janie tells me that you two know each other. Yes. Small world, isn't it? So-so. <laughs> Was there uh, any place in particular you wanted to go? No. Oh, yes. You might drive us to Inspiration Point. Yeah. Inspiration. Okay. Very nice, Janie. Well, why he doesn't punch in the nose, I don't know. Like I told you, Happy. All I can say is it certainly shows a very mean streak in your character. I, uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I say, I beg your pardon. Mm-hmm. I don't mean to interrupt, but could I have just one little word Finley, in Finley, what is it? Do you like the car? I love it. Uh, do you like it, Smith? Yes, it's fine. Are you enjoying the demonstration? Yeah, it's been thrilling so far. Well, thank you very much. <sighs> Please, Smith. It's over now. What's that? I say it's over now. What's the matter? Well, uh, this is Inspiration Point. Oh, it is. Oh, it's lovely. Isn't no, it lovely? No, no, you don't seem to get the idea. This is the place you said you wanted to come to, isn't it? Oh, you mean you want us to get out? That's right, oh, that's right. Now I... you're beginning to get the idea. Well, you come, my dear. Let's get out. Nice work, Thomas. Thank you very much, Harry. 
I'm always glad to bring young couples out here because I know how many memories a place like this can hold. Uh, excuse me, please, Miss. Uh, notice how solidly the door is closed? Now, any time you and the young lady have nothing better to do, I'll be glad to drive you around and show you any of the other points of interest. Good night. I don't like that man's attitude. He'll never get to be president. He's a sorehead. I knew this had happened to me. I just knew it. I said to myself, I said, Jamie, I said, before this evening is over, you'll be walking. Oh, hello. How are you? And how is everybody? And what does everyone want tonight? Ice cream? Hello, Harry. How are you? How are you? How are you? Fine. How's business, Phil? Oh, terrible. People don't like me. Say, Harry, what are you doing out here without a car? It's a long story. Anybody I know around here? Why, you want a lift? Yes. I'm a... Hey, Mr. Hamilton. Mr. Hamilton, we're all set. Mr. Richard Hamilton, Jr. Sure. Hello, Mr. Hamilton. Oh, well, hello, Harry. What are you doing out here without a car? Well, I just took a notion. Say, uh, could you, I mean, are, are you going into town? Why, sure, hop in. Well, look, I got a friend with me. Will it be well, all right? Of course, sir. All right, Janie, come on. Get in. Janie! I'm, uh, I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Hamilton. <laughs> How do you do? I'm sorry, Janie, this is Mr. Hamilton. Oh, I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Hamilton. How do you do? Well, uh, hop in. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Hamilton. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mr. Hamilton. That was nothing at all. Good night, Jenny. Mr. Hamilton, I, uh... uh, Mr. Hamilton, I, uh... I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Hamilton. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, I guess that was pretty lucky, huh? <laughs> good night, Harry. What do you mean, good night? <laughs> and you said I'd never get a chance to meet him. You don't call that meeting him, do you? You didn't say a word to you all the way here. We were properly introduced by a mutual acquaintance. So you better go home and revise your statistics. No. Good night. Janey, wait. Go to sleep, Jamie. I'm not tired. Go to sleep, Jamie. Engage to Tom, engage to Harry. Richard Hamilton Jr. Mmm, he's pretty. There she is, Mrs. Richard Hamilton Jr. I remember the day I married them. It seems like yesterday, except they have three children now. Oh, lovely brats. Bring on the stately mansion. Bring on the brats. Major! Major, Major dear, dear, is it true that you are like a telephone operator? Major, Major dear? Why, that is the silliest gossip I've ever heard. It's absurd. It's long distance. Oh! Major! Major. Isn't she dazzling? Look at all the people looking at her. Everybody wear your sunglasses. I'm too dazzling. I'll blind you. Just one more picture, Mrs. Hamilton. Just one more picture. Just one more, Mrs. Hamilton. She's the same sweet and girl. You mean you knew her when, Gertrude? Of course I knew her when. What was she like when she was when? The same sweet and girl. Hey, take my picture, take my picture, take my picture. Take a picture and everybody gather around. Ladies and gentlemen, a toast to our guest of honor, a woman of unspeakable beauty, of simple graciousness and blushing modesty, Janie Hamilton. Janie Hamilton! Janie, my darling. Richard, sweet. Janie, you are the most beautiful woman here. You are the most beautiful woman anywhere. And to think I might have married Brenda Whitney, Jr., Columbus Fire, 0098. Columbus Fire, 0098. He does not answer. This is Richard Hamilton, Jr. What do you think, Jamie? What do you think? Oh, Jamie, wouldn't that be grand? And that was the act two curtain of your radio theater. We'll get on with the third act in just a moment. Right now, Harry James and his music makers take over, and with lovely Helen Forrest vocalizing, they're all set to go. Here they are.
Curtain rises on the third act of Tom, Dick, and Harry. Engaged to Tom, engaged to Harry, but Richard Hamilton Jr., mmm, he's pretty. Engaged to Tom. <laughs> That's the substance of Janie's dream, and the problem is becoming a little too much to handle. But now the dream is over, and part of it has come true. For Richard Hamilton Jr. has called Janie, and they're out on a date. Not an ordinary date, either. For Mr. Hamilton, modern knight of the shining airplane, has flown her to a nightclub in Chicago. Charlie, how did I get here? Magic carpet, wings of love. (laughs) You suppose we'll be home by 12 o'clock? Well, what happens at 12? Do you turn into a pumpkin? (laughs) No. No, but you should be over by 12 o'clock because you're a birthday party. Beg your pardon? You're Jenny Shapiro's birthday party. That's why I told my mother I was going. Oh. (laughs) Well, here's to Jenny Shapiro. May she live long and prosper, and may her party last forever. (laughs) Tell me, are you married? I don't think so. Why? Oh, just wondering. (laughs) I'm not married either. Hmm? I'm not married. Oh, well, (laughs) congratulations. Uh... Do you see anything on the menu that you'd like? Oh, I think I'll have some um, lockers. Oh, oh. <laughs> why don't you order for the both of us? All right. Yeah, better. <laughs> oh, I suppose you think I've never been in a restaurant like this before. Why, on the contrary, I'm sure you have. Well, I have. Well, that's what I said. I've been proposed to. You have? I've been proposed to twice. Two different fellas. You're a lucky girl. But I'm not married. <laughs> More champagne, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why does it whenever I drink champagne make me sneeze? Well, there's no accounting theme. Oh. I suppose you think I've never had champagne before. Now, why should I think that? Well, I have. All right. Lots of times. Say, did I ask you if you were married? Mm Mm-hmm. What did I say? I said no. (laughs) That's what I thought you said. (laughs) What time is it? Oh, it's about three. Oh, that's good, because I don't have to be home till 12. That's what I said. That's what I said. Janie, uh, tell me something. What? What's the difference between a radio and a clothesline? Uh, huh? It's a riddle. It's a riddle. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> that's wonderful. Now I've got one for you. Yeah, but I... I've got one for you now. I didn't finish. I like that. That's wonderful. Now, look, I'm going to ask you. You ask me, did it? I'm going to tell you. <laughs> you say to me. Yeah? You say to me, well, you may. Now, go ahead. All right, all right. Well, what for? This is going to murder you. Go ahead, go ahead, Ash. All right. Will you marry me? Yes. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I tricked you into that, didn't I? I'm sorry. No, Go ahead. You can back up. Go ahead. No, the funny thing is, it's it's a wonderful idea. No, you go ahead. You come back out. Look, Janie, would you really marry me? Who? Me? Hmm. Would you really ask me? You bet your life. (gasps) Look at me, everybody. I'm engaged. (laughs) Look at me, everyone. Oh, I suppose you think I've never been engaged before. Well, I have. I thought 
thought he had a date with you last night. Oh, not me. I thought he had a date with you. Well, I'm getting sick of it, sitting on our doorstep all night. Oh, I'm getting sick of it. <laughs> Say, that rooster's fast. Look, brother, why don't you go cut your throat? Mm, no, I don't think so. Huh? Huh? Yes, there she comes. Well, who's that with her? <laughs> <laughs> come on, Janie. Carry me. Now, come on, carry me. Okay. Now, carry me. Look out, everybody. Here I come. Am I too heavy? Well, you're as light as a feather. <laughs> hello, Janie. Oh, hello. Oh! Hi, <gasps> Janie. I think maybe you'd better let me down. Easy. Sure. <laughs> well... What do you mean by coming around and making a scene? <laughs> I'll get to you later. Janie, I want you to tell this Harry guy here who you're really engaged to. Him. Him? Who? Mr. Richard Hamilton, Jr. Well, well, what about me? <laughs> I'm engaged to you, too. What? <laughs> you, you mean you're engaged to both of us? I'm engaged to all three of you. But wait a minute, you can't be. Why not? You all ask me. Janie, look, can I see you alone for a minute? No, you can't. You don't have to raise your voice. Janie, if you were really engaged, you might have told me. Well, I don't see where it's any longer being engaged to three fellas than it is to two fellas. Janie, how could you do a thing like this? Why, you just met these two guys. Be quiet and let her make up her own mind. That's what I say. Let her make up her own mind. Let her think. Now, listen, Janie. Leave her her alone. Quiet. Well, well, well. Quiet. What's the difference between the radio and the clothes? Janie, I think maybe you better go on up to bed. I haven't made up my mind. Who love you yet? Even. Even. But we could come back later when you're feeling better, Janie. Would you, Dick? Sure. Would you come? What's all right with me? Would you, Harry? Sure, I would. Oh, you're wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You certainly are a bunch of wonderful gentlemen. Well, here I go. Don't forget to come back, everybody. Everybody come back for breakfast. I'll be thinking up my mind. Thinking, thinking up my mind. Thinking, thinking, thinking up my mind. Go to sleep, Jamie. Dreaming, Jamie. Dreaming up my mind. Me, 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 Jamie. Me, Jamie. Me, Jamie. You just met these guys. You hardly know them. I'm your fella. You'll make you act poorly, Jamie. I'll make you happy. Take your fishing. Me, Jamie. I'm your fella. Airplane, Jamie, all your life. Me, Jamie. Take your fishing. All your life. Me. 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 You, Jamie, take these three fellows to be your lawfully wedded husband. I do. And you three fellows take this girl to be your lawfully wedded wife. We, we do. do. I now pronounce you the only solution. Goodbye, dear. I've got a rush, dear. I have to sell a million cars today. I owe all my success to you. Wait. I have to go buy a new airplane, dear, but I'll be home early and we'll fly to Chicago. No, no, wait. I'm staying home, dear. Somebody has to keep you happy while they're away. No, just a minute. This is ridiculous. I can't be married to all three of you. Well, well then, think make up, up your mind. mind. Make up my mind. Make up my mind. Make up my mind. Uh, sit down, Harry. Sit down, Tom. Uh, uh, sit down, Mr. Hamilton. Jeannie will be right here. Thank you. Well, I, I don't know what anybody else thinks, but I think he's exciting. Don't you, Father? Uh, don't you, Butch? Mm, I know which one I take. Thank you, Butch. Here she comes, ready or not. Any bets, fella? Quiet. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> well, go ahead. Which one is it? <laughs> um, Tom, you're a wonderful fella. Jane. Any girl would be lucky to get you, but we're not right together. You ought to marry the boss's daughter. Oh, Harry, you're one of the most interesting fellows I've ever met. And one of the nicest. But you're crazy. Oh, sure. So I'm awfully glad to have met you. No trouble. Dick, we don't move in the same circles. But you're what I've been dreaming about all my life. So if you still want me... 
I'd be very happy to be Mrs. Richard Hamilton, Jr. Jane. Oh, Jane, give me a kiss. Oh, my little girl. Congratulations. Darling, let's not wait any longer. Let's drive to Gretna and get married right now. Right away? Yes. Well, all right, Mom. Oh, all right, Paul. Sure, go right ahead. Put Tramp can get my coat like a good girl. All right. Goodbye, boys. Bye. Take care Bye. of my boy. Bye. She's always got except Butch. Another three years, and Butch will really surprise you. Your handkerchief. Have you got a handkerchief, Jane? Yes, I got one, Mom. Thanks. Bye. Don't drive too fast. No, I won't, Pop. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, John. Goodbye, Pop. Goodbye, Janie. So long, Butch. Goodbye, Tom. So long, Tom. Congratulations, fellow. I guess the best man won after all. Mind if I kiss the bride to be? I'll go right ahead. Oh. Bye, Jeannie. Goodbye, Tom. I wish you all the happiness in the world. Ah, oh, thank you. Well, goodbye, Harry. So long, Harry. Congratulations, fellow. I think, uh, I think she's making a big mistake. Do you mind if I kiss her? No, go right ahead. as spokesman to ask all you men and women in service just what plays you'd like to hear on this series. Your request is our command. So simply V-mail Special Service Los Angeles, USA and we'll try to send your choice to you on this, your special edition of the Radio Theater. Until the next time and the next play, this is Cecil B. DeMille saying good night to you from Hollywood. Broadcast especially for you men and women in the armed forces of the United Nations by the Special Service Division of the War Department of the United States of America. Uh-huh.